so let me start this session with a very very basic because if you want to learn a revit software first you must know what is bim uh, building information modeling so we'll proceed uh, with the bim concept and uh, after bim we'll discuss about the this uh, file formats with this also very basic then we'll deal with the what is what on screen then only we can able to start this training program means after covering this terms and terminology what is what on screen the file formats and no doubt uh, the bim first so let me start the session with the term called bim and if you want you can make a note of this uh, in short we used to call bim it's a building information modeling you see i'm not talking about bms those who are already in the field they know about bms but here i'm talking about bim bim building information modeling so any idea about the bim online uh, any idea about the bim Okay, if you don't know, please make a note. It's a building information modeling. And uh, BIM is not a software. It is not a small concept. It's a complete concept for the complete building, right from the design stage till the demolish of the building, including the services. And on this, on this BIM concept, the Revit software works. Okay, so in market, uh, many engineers considering BIM is equal to Revit, but it's not exactly the same. Actually, BIM is a concept and Revit is a software work on BIM concept. Okay, so you cannot say Revit is completely equal to BIM. Revit is a software works on the BIM and still try to achieve the BIM. It's not completely achieved yet. But what is exactly BIM? To, to get the idea, let me play one small video clip so that you'll get the idea about the BIM. And in between the video, we'll discuss some points. So give me a minute. Let me share that video. This is very, very basic. The course will start after completing all this uh, basics. What is BIM? BIM is very much talked about in the building industry, but what is it really? What is it used for and who should use it? Some say BIM is a type of software. Some say BIM is the 3D model of buildings. Others say BIM is a process or that BIM is nothing more than an organized collection of all building data. BIM is all of the above and more. You see, BIM is all of the above and more. Means in the BIM concept, you'll find the planning, you are going to use the software, the data, a lot of things. So it's, it's a concept. And uh, this concept generally from the architectural side, means uh, the architects or the civil people involved in this concept, because they are going to initialize the planning for the building. So this is a complete process. Or I can say BIM, uh, you can consider the life cycle of the project, right from the very instant stage of design till the demolish of the project. Now let's see BIM explained in layman's terms. When it comes to BIM, everything begins with a 3D digital building model. This model, however, is more than just simple geometry and some interesting textures added to it for visualization. A true BIM model can... And in BIM concept, before dealing with the actual, we are going to complete the work in a virtual way. First, creating a 3D intelligent building. And after that, uh, dealing with the building services that do all also in a 3D way, in a virtu in 3D virtual way. For example, if you talk about BIM concept, using the software, we are not going to draw the duct. I believe everyone knows duct. We are going to create the duct. Similarly, we are not going to draw the pipe. We are going to create the pipe. So it means in BIM concept, when we use software related to the BIM concept, we are dealing with the 3D intelligent components and we are going to work in a virtual way. And the advantage of this, for example, if you complete the work, complete the work in a virtual way before dealing with the in an actual way. So the problem which is going to happen on site that can be identified and rectified at the time of design stage only. I'm talking about the coordination issues, the clashes between the services. Okay. A lot of things. So this is one big advantage of uh, the BIM concept followed by Revit. Consists of the virtual equivalents of the actual building sections used to create a building. These intelligent elements are the digital prototype of the physical building elements such as walls, columns, windows, doors, stairs, etc. that allow us to simulate the building and understand its behavior before the actual construction begins. Now let's see what a BIM model can be useful for. 3D visual. If you want, you can please make a list of this so under the topic BIM. The first point you can write 3D visualization. So under 3D visualization, you can write hyphen working with 3D intelligent components, working with 3D intelligent components. So as an engineer dealing with the mechanical or electrical side, you already know what is 3D, 3D model. 
but here i'm talking about 3d intelligent component okay so what exactly the 3d intelligent component you'll get the idea when we use that component when we deal with the reverse soft at this level remember a 3d component with the parameters or with the connectors and that can link with the other components for example the diffuser can logical logically can connect with the ahu or the light fixture can logically connect with the electrical lighting panel and that connection can be done with the connectors with the parameters and that's the reason we used to call that components are 3d intelligent component not just 3d component 3d component you, if you want you can create in autocad also but here in rivet which works on the beam concept we are dealing with the 3d intelligent component the more about the 3d intelligent component you'll the you'll get the idea when we deal uh, with the software for the different services of course the most basic use of a bim model is for creating realistic visualizations of the planned building your bim model helps your design decisions by comparing various design alternatives and for selling your design to your client the local community and other stakeholders as well change management this is the second point you can make a note this was very interesting uh, for example if you use autocad can i compare this with autocad only i believe everyone knows what is autocad so if you compare this uh, bim concept or the software which works on the bim with the autocad in autocad we are dealing with what we are dealing with only drafting right we'll not deal with the design or the 3d components so in autocad if you do any changes in the plan view this will not automatically update in the section or elevation views now that you need to do manually by visualization right but here in the bim concept uh, which follow by uh, the revit software if you change anywhere will update everywhere for example you see we are dealing with the 3d intelligent component now. so the component is one but the views are multiple the same component if if you see from the top that we can call uh, the plan view the same component if you see in the section view that will or the same component uh, component you can find in the elevation also so the component is same because the 3d intelligent component we are dealing with the 3d intelligent building with the 3d intelligent component for all these building services so the views are multiple in revit but the component is one and if you do any change for that component automatically it will update in all the views so no need to update that views multiple in in multiple views okay anyhow you'll get more idea when we involve in the software at this level just try to get the idea about the bim concept on which the software the revit software works but how exactly you'll get the idea when we deal with the revit software because still you don't aware of that views types of views in in revit okay so at this level you can make a note change management under change management you can write change anywhere will update everywhere change anywhere will update everywhere means if you change in the plan view automatically all the views will update even if you change some non graphical information it will update in the schedules we'll discuss more about this since data is stored in a central place in a bim model any modifications to the building design will be automatically replicated in each view such as floor plans sections and elevation this not only helps in creating the documentation faster but also provides stringent quality assurance by automatic coordination of the different views. Building simulation. Next point, you can write uh, building simulation. You see, only in this session, you need to write some points. Uh, when I start the project for the Revit, everything, all the points you can find in the, which I already provide. Hmm. Only this basics, this is not in the notes. So I request you to make a note hmm. because as an engineer dealing with the Revit software, you must know what is BIM and if you want detail related to BIM for that uh, the separate uh, course and that is not required generally for mechanical or ethical that is uh, for the architects those who are dealing with the overall building or the planners or the senior um, engineers those who are dealing with the planning for them the BIM concept is a separate study but if you are learning any software works which works on the BIM you must have at least the basic information what I'm providing in this session okay so next is a building simulation so building simulation you know energy analysis uh, green building value engineering etc all comes under this uh, building simulation uh, saving the energy etc right so under building simulation you can write lead uh, green building um, value engineering etc BIM models contain more than just architectural data information about the different engineering disciplines sustainability information and other characteristics can be easily simulated well in advance of actual construction. 
you see the combination of uh, the building and the services we can call the bim model data management uh, next you can make a note data management uh, this is also a very uh, very useful option in bim and uh, followed by revit so when we are dealing with the revit software for example i'm going to add one diffuser in a particular space or i'm going to add one light fixture for a particular space so whenever you use any component 3d intelligent component in the project the software will create the registry the information in the database and that can be extracted in the form of a schedule for material takeoff and you can expect 100% accurate material takeoff from the revit software which works on the bim concept so this also very very useful option and we have a separate topic uh, for this uh, uh, metal takeoff after completing the design of adding all the components you can extract that required component uh, with 100 percent accuracy for example if you're dealing with the piping uh, extracting the information for from the cat layout for the piping is difficult you cannot find exactly the number of elbows or the fittings that you need to assume but here in revit whenever you take a 90 degree turn or 45 degree turn automatically the elbow will create and connect to the pipe and you'll and the registry also will update in the software because remember revit works on the bim concept and in the bim concept you'll find the single database all this project is going to be stored in one centralized location okay so this is also very very useful option data data management okay so data management under data management you can write for metal takeoff for material takeoff bim contains information that is not visually represented at all scheduling information for example clarifies the necessary manpower coordination and anything that might affect the outcome of the project schedule you see this is related to planning and uh, as a same is a concept right from the starting initial stage of design till the demolish of the project it will cover the complete life cycle including the maintenance and all but as of now in revit software you will not find this planning option but many consultants they are using the planning option as an add-on add-on means uh, the third party software can link with the revit software that we can call as an add-on and using the add-on they are dealing with the planning options also but if you talk about the default uh, option of revit in revit uh, you not find this planning option uh, even in 2022 or version also maybe in future uh, they may add uh, from autodesk cost is also a part of bim that allows us to see what the budget or estimated cost of a project might be at any given point in time during the project needless to say the data put in a bim model is not only useful during the design and construction phase of a building project but can be used throughout the entire building life cycle. This is about the maintenance and the life cycle of the project. It's a part of BIM, but not yet in the reverse software. So I hope uh, you got the idea about what is BIM.